hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. He who was and is and is to come. Great is the faithfulness of Yeshua. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. How great, how great, how great is our God. How great is his name. He is the greatest one forever the same. He rolls back the waters from the mighty Red Sea. He says, I will lead you if you will only trust in me. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Thou art great and greatly to be praised. Our Father, you reign. You reign supreme. You reign, O sovereign God. You reign. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of kings and Lord of lords. How excellent is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He who is awesome in this place. He who is worthy of all praise. To him our lives we raise. He is awesome in this place and he is our almighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm sharing the broadcast as we speak. I want to encourage hallelujah people of god to share to share to share because you care you want people everywhere to know that you have blessings to spare amen praise god from whom all blessings flow praise him all creatures here below praise him above ye heavenly host praise father son and holy ghost hallelujah 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 what a mighty god we serve oh my light just went out light what, where did you go Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, my soul. I worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. I worship your holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, I worship your holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship your holy name. Holy, holy. Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, thou art worthy to be praised. Holy, holy, Lord Almighty, thou art worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah to our King, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to our King. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God. And welcome, welcome into our presence, welcome into our day, welcome Holy Spirit and have it your way. We submit and surrender all that we are to you, all of you and none of us, O oh Lord. Take full control, Holy Spirit of God. Have your way, have your way. We give you this day and everything that we do and everything that we say, may it be from you, Holy Spirit, that we will do it the right way. Glory be to the name of the Holy One of Israel, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is worthy of all praise, of all honor, and all glory. Holy One of Israel, I bless your name this day. I praise you this day. I honor you this day. I magnify you today, for you are awesome in this place, and you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, he who was and is and is to come who is like unto our God. It's one songwriter says, How great is our God! How great is his name! He is the greatest one, forever the same. He rolled back the waters from the mighty Red Sea. He says, I'll lead you, won't you trust in me? 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are great and greatly to be praised. Lord Jesus, we honor you. We magnify you this morning, this fourth watch family, in this fourth watch hour. We declare that you are awesome in this place and you are the almighty God. You are worthy of all praise and to you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, almighty God. Nothing, hallelujah, can stand in the in the in your way. No one can take your place. Hallelujah. You are awesome in this place. You are great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Come on, in order to build a relationship with the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to also praise Him. Worship is part of the relationship. Everyone likes praise. Hallelujah. God's love language is obedience and praise. Hallelujah. Praise and worship. That those are two of his main love languages. Obedience and praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful God. Awesome God. We praise you this morning. We worship you. We adore you this morning, Lord Jesus. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy. We desire your presence. We desire your divine visitation. We desire to come into this hour, O Lord Jesus, the same way you came into this hour and spoke with your dad, with your father, the Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, the I am that I am. Ah, Lord, we desire to, re to receive a down Lord from you a download that when we approach this day we approach it like you approached each day having come out of the presence of your father Lord we come into your presence desiring to be filled up with all of you that we can walk in the fullness of you doing what we see you do and saying what we hear you say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth father pour upon every fourth watch family member the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Let the anointing for the fruit of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit be manifested in and through us now and always. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let no weapon formed against us prosper. Let every tongue that rises against us in judgment be condemned and destroyed by fire. Let prosperity and good success be our portion, O God Almighty. Father, teach us how to honor you in all our ways and all our days. Lord, teach Teach us how to identify and to uproot, repent, and reject and discharge every evil that is in our hearts, no matter how small. Father, you desire for us to be without blemish. That means without sin, that when the enemy comes, he finds nothing of him within any of us. And so, Lord Jesus Christ, we lay ourselves bare before you this morning. And we say, Lord, where there is anything in us, any element, any aspect, any minute, any speck, any mustard seed of sin, any mustard seed of wickedness hidden under the, under the levels of religiosity, hidden under the levels of our prayer life, hidden under the levels of our study life, hidden under the levels of our church life or our work life or our serving life. Father God, we ask that you will uproot it, uproot, uproot, uproot by fire any wickedness that is hidden, O oh God Almighty, to contaminate our relationship with you, to contaminate our relationship with each other and with our families. In the name of Jesus, let no contamination remain in us, but heal us, deliver us, set us free, and make us whole, that we might take control and, be, and not be controlled by our soul. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by your Spirit, O oh Lord, lead us in the path of righteousness, for your name's sake for as we walk through the valley of the shadow of death we fear no evil for thou art with us thy rod and staff comforts us thank you lord that you have placed a table before us in the presence of our enemies thou art anoint our head with oil and our cups runneth over thank you lord that your goodness and mercy follows us even as your spirit leads us in the path where we should go as we will grow and glow before you put us on show in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have thine own way, O Lord, have thine own way. Thou art the potter and we're just the clay. Mold us and make us and teach us your will. Cover us, O God, for we desire you still. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Good morning, Holy Spirit, and welcome. Welcome into our presence, welcome into our day. Have thine own way, Holy Spirit of God. All of you and none of us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning to you, my dear family. Early risers in the presence of the Lord. God bless you, God bless you. It is truly an honor and the great, the grace of God is truly, hallelujah, evident that I can open my eyes this morning in mercies that are new, and you can too, hallelujah, because our God is true. Faithfulness is one of the hallmark of his, uh, of his character, hallelujah, even as love is the representation of him, our Father, our Lord, our God, and our King. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord Jehovah. Mighty is our defender, our lover, our healer, our savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, or in the Hebrew tongue, Yeshua, the Amashiach of Nazareth. What an awesome God we serve. What an awesome God that serves us. Come on, where do you know anywhere in the world that the one who is in charge, the leader, the sovereign leader, hallelujah, serves the people, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is we that have to serve natural man, but in the kingdom, Jesus serves us. Hallelujah. He served us when he came to the earth to die for us, and he has been serving us ever since. Nothing that we do in this earth is as a result of our ability, but have his, his ability and his faithfulness. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. And so this morning, on behalf of our very our grateful nations, on behalf of our nations that are in some instances misguided and um and, and, and on the wrong path, we say eternal Father, Jehovah God Almighty, you who are blessed and highly favored, you who are awesome in this place, you who are great and greatly to be praised, you who are God all by yourself, you eternal Father, sovereign Lord, we ask that you will bless our land. Come on, people of God, say eternal Father, bless my land, bless, Com bless Colombia, bless Florida, bless America, bless England, bless Canada. Come on, wherever you are right now, say eternal Father, Jehovah God Almighty, I ask you this morning to bless my land. Come on hallelujah we must pray for our nation our nations are in trouble come on it doesn't matter it's not about patriotism or any kind of ism or schism our nations are in trouble my nation jamaica land that i love and land that i know god loves is in trouble with immorality and corruption and sexual perversion and all manner of evil concupiscence it doesn't mean that it is not the place where i was born it doesn't mean that i don't love my nation but i have to be truthful and there are too many of us as Christians who find it difficult to pray for our nation not because we don't know how to pray but because we are in denial of how wicked how diversely wicked our nation is represented in heaven do not be deceived you will not be able to travail for your nation unless you accept that your nation is depraved and demoralizing to God is a stench in the nostril of God when you recognize that cancer is eating away at the very fabric of your nation you will then cry out and say eternal father heal my land eternal father my land is about to be destroyed by the wickedness of Satan oh, but only you can restore Store us only you can revive us but we first must recognize that there is a need hallelujah and so if there is anyone here who, who truly believes that their nation is perfect that there is no need that their nation loves Jesus that their nation is walking free from corruption immoralities of every kind hallelujah walking in love in power full obedience to the word of God walking in dominion and authority walking as a representative of the kingdom of God then fine you don't have to pray for your nation pray for our nation but I know that our nation is far far from even good much less perfect and so I challenge you this morning if you know that your nation is in need of help let us travail for our nation this morning and so we say eternal father bless cover guard deliver our land guard us with your mighty hand 
keep us free from the evil powers that seeks to come against us from the north south east and west keep us free from these evil powers oh god almighty the evil powers represented by sexual immorality evil powers represented by 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 all the things that, that that gathers in a man's heart like corruption crime and violence ah god almighty con artistry oh father god every evil thing that seeks to destroy our nation the fabric of our nation from the inside out oh father we ask that you will visit our god almighty and deliver us from sin lord nineveh only had to repent and you save them from the death that you and destruction that you had ordained for them and so lord jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah you said in your word that if you had found even 10 righteous in a nation the nation of Sodom and gomorrah if you had found even 10 righteous you would not have destroyed them but you couldn't find 10 father i know I'm not asking, even though I'm not you and I don't know the heart of men. I believe with my whole heart. Let me say that. I believe with my whole heart, by faith, that there are more than 10 righteous, more than 50 righteous in the United States of America, more than 50 righteous in the nation of Colombia, of, of Great Britain, of Canada. Hallelujah. More than 50 righteous in the nation of Jamaica, in the nation of Trinidad and Tobago, in the nation of St. Lucia, Bahamas. Barbados hallelujah the Caribbean all of Africa there are more than 50 righteous in every nation hallelujah I believe that hallelujah you know but I believe and so Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth we stand in the gap this morning for the nations of the world we stand in the gap for all of the nations God no matter who they are no matter where they are I know for a fact that there are more than 50 righteous in China one of the most adamant atheistic nation in the world south korea there must be some underground underground christians in not sorry not south korea north korea there must be some underground christians in north korea hallelujah i know i've heard stories people who have been there i i know that china has 50 or more and i'm, I'm just being conservative based on the, the, the particular scripture that 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 the, the lord hallelujah encountered um abraham but so lord this morning we travail for these nations we travail for the muslim nations oh god almighty that are so against jesus that they want in some instances to kill christians oh lord the report says that in the north of nigeria over three thousand christians are put to the sword or to gun bullets each year and but jesus christ of nazareth if they are willing to die as martyrs martyrs for you that means there are more than 50 righteous there father we pray that you will invade transform reform our god reconcile these nations in the mighty name of jesus this morning we cry out for our various nations we cry out for our nations in the name of jesus christ lord as laura cries out hallelujah for colombia as jacqueline cries out for great britain hallelujah as quenda hallelujah cries out for the united states come on glory to god hallelujah cry out for your nation say lord have mercy on my nation have mercy on my country have mercy on my state have mercy on my parish have mercy on my reach and my county have mercy oh gracious wonderful god have mercy in the way that only you can for lord god almighty if our nation continues the way that it is going destruction is certain hell is the is the final destination lord god almighty we do not desire for hell to be our final des destination we do not desire that our nation be destroyed hallelujah by hurricanes by forest fires by all manner of e by earthquakes by volcanic eruptions father we desire that we might live to honor you and to worship you in spirit and in truth and so lord jesus christ of nazareth we travail this morning for our nation for our governments we travail this morning oh god almighty for the governments that are, are are seriously pushing evil of every kind either through war or social decay 
We pro we travail for these nations this morning. I travail for the United States of America. I travail this morning, oh God, for Great Britain. I travail this morning for Canada. I travail this morning, oh God, and I say, Father, have mercy. Have mercy on these nations. Have mercy on the nation of Germany. Have mercy on the nations, oh God, where Satan has set up thrones, where principalities and powers are controlling the governmental officials, controlling the judges, controlling the, 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 comp the corporate executives. Ah, uh, God, we travail this morning for these nations and these the various organization leaders. We travail for them this morning, O oh God. Father, may they have a visitation like Abimelech. May they know that they are fighting against you like Saul learned that he was fighting against you and kicking against the breaker. Father, may these men and women receive a divine visitation and a, a warning that says, turn from your evil ways. Turn from your evil ways. Repent and turn, or you will face the wrath of God. We call out to the, the to politicians, to leaders of all kinds. Lord, those who are tears that have risen up in churches and are preaching the gospel but are involved in all manner of evil, all manner of sexual perversion, all manner of, 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 of incest and adultery and fornication, but they are preaching the gospel and think that that is okay because only you and them know. Father, we reverse that curse. We cancel that demonic assignment against your kingdom, against your church church against your people in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God Almighty, I cry out to you this morning alongside my brothers and sisters in Christ. We cry out to you this morning and we say, God, uproot the evil from the churches in the name of Jesus. Uproot those leaders, O God Almighty, who continue to embrace wickedness evil, immoralities of every kind. Oh God, uproot the tears that have grown up and become leaders in the church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let them not damage the young ones. Let them not be shepherds that are more hirelings than shepherds that will run to wickedness at the first sign and the first opportunity that they get father god almighty we're asking you to replace hallelujah those tainted shepherds with good shepherds with real shepherds that you have chosen replace those who only are in these positions because they went to bible school and replace them with those who are, have been chosen by you anointed by you lord some of the best ministers of the gospel of jesus christ that you have that 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 have ministered your word from two thousand years ago didn't even go to school were not educated but they were chosen and so lord jesus christ of nazareth nothing is wrong with bible school and training and learning protocols and principles and processes and doctrine but god they must still be called by you anointed by you chosen by you and so no amount of education because your word says lord jesus it's not by might or by power but by your spirit and so lord jesus christ we pray this day that you will by your spirit remove those that are not chosen by you and and, and set hallelujah in place those that are chosen by you that we might truly hear and experience your glory in the name of jesus christ i go as far as to say lord jesus i am willing to place myself as the example before you right now and i say lord if you have not chosen me for this task if i am not walking according to your purpose and your direction if i have not been handpicked by you for this task of this devotion of liberty for living ministries or to be marsha wade's husband or darian wade's father athena clark's father hallelujah if i have not been chosen and i by my own strength or by the leading of the satanic powers have forced myself into this position i repent and renounce that assignment now from lucifer and i say lord remove me from these positions because god if you have chosen me then i am going to fight for those who are in positions that are hurting parents, hurting children, hurting communi communities, hurting even nations to be uprooted in the same way that I would want to be uprooted had I not been chosen by you. And so Lord Jesus Christ, the standard has been set and we say to you, Lord, hallelujah, we pray that those who have been chosen, that have been influenced 
and are gone off into other directions we pray that you will bring them back into center bring them back to the place where they love the people and the reason they went into politics the reason they went into management into leadership is because they want to accomplish great things with and through other people and so lord jesus remind them of their covenant of their commitment when they were a child when they said i want to be a soldier i want to be a policeman i want to be a, a, a pastor i want to be a teacher remind them of the real reason the purpose the mandate of these tasks oh god almighty oh god teachers are only there for a paycheck they're not serious about the children they're not serious about the future they're just committed to a paycheck father remove those who only or change the mindset of those who only want a paycheck and give those who have an anointing a call a purpose to fulfill in the lives of our children in the schools father god let them be anointed for purpose let them be anointed for your glory let them be anointed to change the story of the children of this generation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father cause us to live from a hundred percent of a sanctified heart and not from the one percent of Satan's contamination in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth glorify yourself in us and through us O God Almighty we travail for our nations this morning and we say Lord have thine own way father satan desires to sift us as wheat he is desirous to sift us and to destroy that which you have built over two thousand years and more but lord we know that he tried that in heaven and failed and he will continue to fail almighty god of daniel almighty god of abraham isaac and jacob almighty god of Paul and Peter, James and John, Almighty God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. We cry out to you this morning as your children. We cry out to you like Jesus Christ of Nazareth cried out to you, Almighty God, in the Garden of Gethsemane. We cry out to you, Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, because you have already uh, uh, cried out until your sweat became as drops of blood. You already travailed for us. And so this morning, Lord Jesus, we travail in, in, your, in your footsteps. We travail in the sweat that you sweated in the garden of Gethsemane we travail by your blood and water that flowed from your side at Calvary's cross we travail by your anointing and spirit that rose from the dead we travail by your mandate hallelujah through your name that is above every name and at the sound of your name every knee must bow we travail through your name that is God glorious and wonderful and powerful we travail for our nations this morning and we say Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth have your way in our nation have your way in our leaders have your way O gracious wonderful God in our children in our families have your way O Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth father don't just sit idly by don't just sit on your throne and watch us destroy ourselves oh God because I know you have tried you have done so much but God there is still more you can do why because nothing is impossible for you Lord God Almighty you can shift you can turn around for 400 years you sat by and watched Israel be punished for the wickedness that they did we don't have 400 years oh God Almighty I believe that maybe in 40 years you will be here if that long if that long it could be four days, it could be four hours, it could be 40 days, 40 weeks, 40 months, it could be 40 years. I don't know, but I know it is close. I am seeing the manifestation of the depravities and the atrocities according to the, 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 the description and in the Bible. Lord, we see that the Euphrates River has dried up according to the, 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 the revelation. We know that your coming is near. And so, Lord Jesus Christ, we cry out to you as your children. We cry out to you as your sons. We cry out to you as your chosen ones. We cry out to you as those who have committed and covenanted to walk according to your leading. We cry out to you, Lord, and we ask that you will hear our voices like you heard the voices of the children of Israel in Egypt. You heard them and you sent Moses to set them free. Father, we ask that you will hear our cry this morning for our nations are in trouble. God, the United States of America is in trouble, dire trouble, dire trouble. 
Christians in that nation is in trouble. Canada is in trouble. England is in trouble. Germany is in trouble. All the nations of the world, Jamaica is in trouble. We are in so much trouble and yet we don't know. We're living life and going about our business. When the, the tsunami is coming, it's like when, when, when an earthquake shifts out at sea and the water begins to pull back and fill into the crack of that opening from the earthquake and people are walking out and looking and picking up fish and completely ignorant of the fact that if the water has left it must come back that's how we are living in this season lord jesus christ of nazareth we're oblivious to the fact that when we put out sin and sin push back the wave it must come back to its rightful place lord let the wave of wickedness not come and catch us unaware let not the wave of righteousness holiness and truth not come and destroy us but come to elevate us to wash us clean from wickedness and to take us to another level in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth save our nations O god we travail for our nations we travail for our nations this morning O god lord we present ourselves as the 50 righteous we present ourselves as the 50 righteous and we say lord we travail for the nations of the world this morning we travail for the nations of the world and we say have mercy have mercy O god we place our families before you this morning O god almighty hallelujah 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 thank you jesus we put our families before you this morning and we say lord our children our parents those who are young enough to still have their parents alive we place our parents we place our our siblings our brothers and sisters we place our aunts uncles cousins nieces and nephews before you this morning and we say lord jesus christ of nazareth have mercy through the through salvation have mercy through the great through your grace for salvation salvation for our family members salvation oh god because money will pass away house and car and clothes and shoes and jewelries will pass away but salvation is here to stay and so lord we pray for salvation for our family members in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray lord that everyone who is hearing my voice right now whether in the foreground or in the background even delayed hallelujah i pray god almighty that the anointing for salvation will not only hit them but hit their household the anointing for salvation will hit us who are saved that we might hit those who are unsaved in our family in our community in our nation we pray God for salvation for our governments our governmental officials we pray for salvation for the industry leaders we pray for salvation for some of our church leaders oh God that are not saved yes they know the Bible and they went to Bible school but they're not saved and so God Almighty I pray for those who, who pretend to be saved but are not I pray for salvation oh god almighty for them in the mighty name of jesus christ that there on the last day will be none that will say lord lord did i not preach your word because i learned it at, at theological seminary did i not demonstrate power because your spirit moved through me because of the person who is the recipient not the cat not the vessel who was delivering lord may none hear these words depart from me i never knew you lord let salvation be the portion of those those who are not saved but are acting like they are in the name of Jesus let a re 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 repeal hallelujah let those who are in reproach hallelujah take a different approach in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let those Christians oh God Almighty who are saved but are still holding on to the world holding on to issues of wickedness issues of evil concupiscence issues of, of, of compromise issues of lukewarmness father God made a fire of heaven made a fire of heaven reach us this morning made a fire of heaven touch us this morning in the name of Jesus that every spirit of lukewarm be cleansed from us and cleansed from our nation and cleansed from our community in the name of Jesus every lukewarm spirit be cleansed from our churches in the name of Jesus may those who God Almighty who quickly and for the sake of, 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 of um, spoils 
Father, may we become serious about you and about your word, your will, and your purpose. Oh, gracious, wonderful, and awesome God, may we be examples of righteousness, holiness, and truth in this family. May our, may our natural family members see your goodness and mercy in us and through us and be drawn unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the gift of the grace of healing and deliverance be our portion, O oh God, that we might be an answer to what ails our family first, our community second, and our nation third. Father God, among those who are gathered here as Fourth Watch family members, I pray that you will select us, handpick us for your glory and for your name's sake. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we desire nothing else but to walk in the fullness of your goodness, to bring glory to your name, O Lord God Almighty. May we always stand for righteousness, holiness, and truth. May we never compromise because that's not wise. I thank you, O gracious, wonderful God, that today is a day when our commitment, our cry out to you is heard and answered. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, glorify yourself, O righteous Father. Magnify your name. Hallelujah. Let your anointing fall afresh upon us this day and let it be so undone in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I pray for the finances of your people. I pray, O oh God Almighty, for those who own companies. I pray for those who own companies. Every person in this family that own a business, O oh God Almighty, large, small, medium, or large, I pray, God, that you will bless them today. Bless their business. Bless their business, O oh God Almighty. Bless it to be a business that represents righteousness, holiness, and truth. A business that represents integrity. A business that represents prosperity and good success. I bless the businesses this morning in the name of Jesus. Come on, business owners. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn your cup up. Your hand represents your cup for your business. Catch what God is pouring out this morning into your business. Catch what God, come on, by faith. Lord, no matter what, biz, what size business, Hallelujah. I pour out a blessing that increases their balance sheet, that increases, oh God Almighty, not ne nothing negative. God, that their customers will come in abundance, that their clients will pay on time, that there will be no outstanding um, balances on their, on their books, oh God Almighty. Collections will be perfect, our uh, God Almighty, and owing will be minus in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, your word says we are lenders and not borrowers. I pray that you'll raise up some businesses in this season, God Almighty, among the fourth watch family members that will be kingdom financers, that will be blessers of many. Our uh, God who will help even others to start businesses in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God. I pray that destiny helpers, businesses that represent destiny helpers, will raise up out of this family in the name of Jesus Christ. That there will be nothing lacking, like the chip, like like uh, the acts of the apostles. God Almighty, people came and said and and sold what they had and brought it to the apostles that none will lack. I pray, O oh God Almighty, that each business that is represented in this family will be like what was done with the apostles. That God, you will cause the the, the the people to come and spend with these companies, oh God, that they might have enough that none around them will lack uh, in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak on common breakthrough in clients, in, 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 in funds, in resources, in, in advancement in the businesses of Fort Watch family members. In the name of Jesus, Father God. I cry out to you this morning and I say, Lord, let every person who owns a business, who is planning to start a business, who has just started a business, have even business ideas, hallelujah, investments, hallelujah, because a business is also investment, hallelujah. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that before this year is out, in the next three months, I am asking you this favor in the next three months, God. We're almost at the end of July, so I'm not even naming July, August, September, October. By October, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I am asking you, I'm not prophesying, I'm asking you a favor as my father. I am asking you a favor as my father who art in heaven, for whom nothing is impossible. 
I am asking you as a favor, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Move mightily even now by the breath of change, by your hand of power, by your anointing and glory. Hallelujah. Let these three months be three months that move these companies that are represented in this family to a level that they could not ask, think, or imagine. To a level where there is serious abundance. To a level where there is exceedingly abundantly above all they could ask, think, or imagine. Father God, hallelujah. August, September, October. By the end of October, O oh God Almighty, may they be a testimony in these companies of the unprecedented uncommon overflow of your glory and father may they remember you may they remember you when that happens may they not just share with uh, all of the, the resources with shareholders but may they remember your kingdom may they truly be committed and covenanted to kingdom financing destiny helper for your glory I ask you, God, people of God, I don't know what God will do, but I'm believing God that he will do a magnificent work in your company. And so make a note, make a note from the first of next month, August, and to the end of October 31st, those three months. I'm believing God for an uncommon blessing. Remember, I'm not prophesying. God did not tell me this. God did not say to me, Rowan, prophesy over these companies. I am asking God as his son and as your representative in this devotional fourth watch hour. I am asking God to move your company, your business, come on, your finances to a whole nother level. And I'm speaking this on behalf of those who collect a salary as well. Hallelujah. Even those who are retired and collecting pension. Father, I am asking you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, cause a financial breakthrough to come to each and every fourth watch family member between the months of August to October 31st. These three months representing the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the blessings of the body, soul, and spirit, mind, will, and emotion. Father God, let a tripart anointing, let a tripart blessing, let a tripart glory come upon every member of this family upon their business upon even their family oh god almighty upon their finances specifically to finance in the name of jesus christ lord let by the end of october the pay period last week in october let the testimonies of your hand of glory come upon your people in the name of jesus christ lord we thank you in advance we thank you in advance hallelujah for the massive, extraordinary expansion that will happen. Promotions will take place. Salary increases will take place of the proportion greater than what the, the, the Jamaican politicians gave themselves and gave the judges. Uncommon, unprecedented increases because it is not coming from man, but from you unto this family. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that the testimonies of your goodness will come. And I thank you that your people will remember you when that time comes and when that blessings flow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, O oh God Almighty, for the health of your people this morning. I pray, God Almighty, that health and strength, prosperity and good success is the portion of every fourth watch family member. I come against every curse, every curse that wants to make you worse. I declare that you are better and not worse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every parasite, every sickness and disease, every plot, plan, scheme and trap of the enemy against our health, I reverse that curse. I reverse the curse of diabetes, hypertension. I reverse the curse of cancer. I reverse the, per the curse of rheumatoid arthritis. I reverse every curse in the womb of the women, in the prostate of the men, in the hearts, every heart disease curse. I reverse your curse now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every thrombosis, every vein disease, every blood disease, I uproot you and I declare that the blood of Yeshua, the Amashiach of Nazareth, is the only blood that courses through our 
of Hain, the blood that is perfect, the blood that is blessed and highly favored. I reverse the curse of cancer. I reverse every generational curse that has come down to debilitate and to destroy God's people. I declare that whatsoever killed your mother or your father, your sister or your brother, whether it be accident, sickness or disease, I declare that it shall not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stroke and, and hypertension and diabetes took my father. I declare that it shall not take me or my children in the name of Jesus. I cut off every disease from my family and from your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I reverse that curse. I place a bubble of protection, a fire of protection round about every fourth watch family member hearing me now. I feel the presence of the living God. May the anointing of God to burn out every disease that is already in your system. Fire of the living God, burn from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Uproot every wickedness that Satan has injected into our bodies. Father, Father God, every every contraption that Satan has caused to be operating in our blood, operating in our organs, operating in our joints and marrow, I uproot by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I uproot any special disease, any un unnameable disease. Disease, anything that is, you know, hey, I uproot breast cancer. I uproot every kind of cancer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the Lord God Almighty who healed the centurion servant, who healed, ah, hallelujah, the woman with the issue of blood, who healed the woman bent over for 18 years, may the spirit of the living God, who caused Lazarus to come back from the dead, the spirit of the living God, who touched that little girl when Jesus Christ said, telleth Akumai, little girl arise, may that spirit of God manifest right now to every member of this family, manifest right now into our family members, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the spirit of autism. I speak to the spirit of mental disorder. I speak to the spirit of psychological and emotional distress. And I command you now by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, be uprooted and gone. Every stress, every debilitation, every rejection spirit, be gone now in the name of Jesus. Every sadness, every suicide spirit lurking in the background of God's people, I uproot you by fire, by by fire, by fire, in the mighty name, in the magnificent name of Jesus Christ. Every generational curse that has caused your children to not perform, not excel, not exceed expectations. I reverse and destroy that curse now. I declare that our altar in the fourth watch is an altar of success, an altar of prosperity, an altar of anointing, an altar of deliverance, an altar of power. And so we stand on our altar that the Lord Jesus Christ has prepared for us and we declare that this altar will produce healing in this season, deliverance in this season, every mental issue affecting our family members, every mental issue that has come down as a generational curse. I speak to your brain now. I speak to your mind, will and emotion now and I command that to leave your family, leave your life. I uproot every mental issue, every, every spirit of forgetfulness, every spirit of incoherence, every spirit of autism, every spirit of, of, of um, what you call that, Alzheimer's, yes, Holy Spirit, every spirit of Alzheimer's operating in your bloodstream, operating in your generation, I reverse and cancel that curse now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I uproot every psychological, physical, emotional, hallelujah, issues operating against your life i reverse and uproot that and discharge it by fire in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i declare that every fourth watch family member is blessed to be a blessing we are anointed and appointed we are highly favored we are anointed to do great and mighty works i declare that we have the power and the grace to resist the devil that he will flee from us because we are more than conquerors we are blessed to be a blessing 
wherever we go. We are destiny helpers. We are kingdom financers. We are blessed and anointed of God to do great and mighty works according to the will and purpose of the Most High God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, every menopausal issue, every issue of the womb, every, every issue of the uterus, every issue of the heart, every issue of the kidneys, every issue of the lungs, I reverse your curse and I cancel your assignment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. God, every bleeding issue, hallelujah, every bleeding issue, I uproot you by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Our women shall be strong and mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. I release the anointing to flush your bloodstream right now. Father God, let fire, 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 fire fall upon all of our women this morning, oh God. Those that are here live and those that are those that to come later on. Hallelujah. Delayed. Let fire fall from heaven. Fire fall from heaven in the realm of the spirit and burn out every impurity, every imperfection in our women this morning, God Almighty, from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Whatever it is that you see with your magnificent eyes in our women this morning, oh God Almighty, even if it is spiritual, even if it is in their soul, Soul, even if it is anger, uh, annoyance, frustration, rebellion, Father God, any physical, psychological, emotional, spiritual issue operating against our women this morning, I ask you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, send fire and burn out, sanctify, purify, and cleanse by your grace and for your name's sake. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I ask you to send fire to our men, O oh God. Burn out fear, burn out pride, burn out, O oh God Almighty, worthlessness, slothfulness, everything that keeps our men in prison, O oh God Almighty, the prison of fear, the prison of, 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 of sexual immorality, the prison of evil concupiscence, the prison, hallelujah, of adultery and fornication. Father, remove us from those prisons, remove us from the prisons, O oh God Almighty, of unfaithfulness to you and to people. Oh, Father God, remove us from everything that Satan has locked us in. Free our men this morning, oh God. Free our men that we might flourish, that we might prosper, that we might be mighty men of valor, that we might be like David's men of valor, warriors for your kingdom, that we might be like David, men after your own heart, that we might be like Samuel, where none of our words fall to the ground. Father, may we be like Boaz, that treat our wife, our wives, wonderful, amazing. May we love our wives as you love us, that they might honor and respect us as we desire. Have your way, O oh God. Those that are not yet married, I pray, God, that you will give them the anointing and power to be a Boaz and to attract their Ruth in the time of truth. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, strengthen and cover our children, O God. May they not be lost in this season. May this day be a great day for our families in the name of Jesus Christ. May this week be a week of good news for your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May today be a day of favor, a day when that which has been held up for us for a long time be released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak release, 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 release from everything that has held us captive, release from things that belong to us that have been held captive. May today be the day like the 21st day when Daniel's answer finally came. May today be a final answer day in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have thine own way, O Lord, and we'll be faithful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, give God some praise. Give God a praise in this time and in this season. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. I hope that we touched on most, if not everything, that would... Um, that, that we would want to place before the Lord this morning, that we would want God to intervene and to uh, to destroy the works of the enemy against us. Sister Andrea Anigi, I, I don't know what is happening, but I, I'm, I'm wondering if 
I'm, I'm seeing your name and I'm, I'm feeling like I haven't seen it in a long time, but I, it's always such a pleasure to see you. You're such an amazing woman of God, like all the women of God in this family. But you know, you and I, you know, <laughs> special, bless you, bless you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. God is a good God. Yes, he is. Uh, hallelujah. 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 So come on, people of God, whatsoever you have heard this morning that appeals to you, whether it be healing, whether it be a blessing for your business, whether it be a blessing for your nation, a blessing for your family, for your children, whatever it is that you needed to hear this morning, you have heard it. And so come in agreement with it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Yes, woman of God, I know that your heart is with us. This is your family and you're always here to love upon us no matter what. Whether you're here physically or not, you're here in spirit. Hallelujah. So I say I greet you all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Instagram family, Facebook family, TikTok family, YouTube family. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm happy that God was faithful and God, by his grace, kept us through this weekend. Hallelujah. Monday is always a difficult day for persons to recover from the weekend. I thought the weekend was supposed to be for rest so that Monday we would be fresh and alive and the numbers would be great. But um, persons are still sleeping off all the enjoyment, all the excitement that they did on the weekend. And so we give God thanks for those of you who were able to push through and to still make it to devotion this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Those of you on TikTok, I bless you. Thank you for your sacrifice. Hallelujah. And your commitment. Hallelujah. Okay, we want to get into some word right now. Hallelujah. Um, Monday is usually intense prayer. Well, <laughs> to be honest, I keep saying that um, Monday is supposed to be all prayer, um, intense prayer, but um, every day seems to be intense prayer these days because most days when I want to get into the, into the word for about an hour or so, um, we end up praying for most of the time and only get to the word with half an hour to go. Hallelujah. But God is a good God because men are always to pray and not to faint. Amen. Hallelujah. Prayer is an indication of salvation. A, a healthy prayer life is an indication of salvation. When you are saved, you are saved that you might pray without ceasing. Men are always to pray. Come on. Hallelujah. God is a good God. So we love to pray here. Um, a friend of mine who lives overseas in one of the big cities of america called me a few a few weeks ago and said um ro i want you to help me teach me how to pray teach me how to pray consistently and extensively because i want to i want to become a prayer warrior a, a male when a man reaches out and says i want to learn how to pray extensively that's a good man Hallelujah. That's a man that understands the importance of connecting to heaven in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so we, we, I, that's one of the things, one of my passion is to help to teach, to give prayer points and to teach us how to pray. And I know I have seen the difference. I have heard the difference in a lot of persons who are a part of this family, how effectively and extensively you now pray and how to use the word in your prayer and even the prayer rain, how to use it and how to, um, the word manipulate sounds bad, but how to manipulate the language to suit your personal situation or preference and, 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 um, and even health. I have done several countless examples of how to just pick pick anything from the word of God arbitrarily, much less when it is specific and targeted. Um, you can just pick any word of God, anything in the word of God, and make it into a prayer if you understand how to do it. And so just as one quick example before we go um, into the word, hallelujah. Um, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 9 the first five or six words, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first eight words in First Corinthians 15 and verse 9 says, For I am the least of the apostles. For I am the least of the apostles. So Paul was being humble and he was making it clear that 
uh, yes, all these other mighty men of God that were chosen before me that walk with Jesus, they were the mighty men. They were the powerful apostles. They are the men that go on with them thing. And I am the least of them. I am the least of them because I used to persecute them. I used to fight against God. So I'm not worthy to call myself or to number myself among them. And so um, all of us, God requires for us to be broken because he says a broken spirit and a broken and contrite heart, he will not despise. And so this was Paul, hallelujah, um, expressing his brokenness and his contriteness before not just God, but men. And so because God requires this of us, this can be an easy prayer point, just picking something off the chains, off the bat, simply just by opening your Bible and picking a scripture and giving you a principle, a platform principle on how you can use anything in the scriptures to pray. Whether it is, if it is something negative, you can say, Father, even as this happened to X, Y, Z in the scriptures, Father, let it not happen to me. Oh, God Almighty, let that not be my portion. Let me not fall away like Saul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let me not only prophesy in the spirit of prophecy like Saul, but let me prophesy like Samuel. Let not, uh, none of my words fall to the ground. Father, let me not be like Rahab, that is a prostitute that barely gets a buy, but let me be like Ruth that is rooted and grounded even in your genealogy. Father God, you see what I'm saying? Guys, but we need to know the word in order to pray the word. The word must become like our flesh, like our skin. Father, your word says in Luke 10, 19, that you have given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And so, Father, every serpent and scorpion that is coming at me, known and unknown, I trample upon them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For though I might be the least among my family, the least among my church, the least among your kingdom, I stand on your word that says that you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And so, God, I trample upon every wickedness that would seek to come against me and against my family. I trample upon them, God Almighty, not because I am first, but that because I am called by you. Lord Jesus, I might be the least among the people of God, but I am still carrying your spirit. I am still carrying your word. I am still carrying your Shekinah glory. And so God fix my story in this season to show up, O oh God Almighty, and glorify yourself in and through me and for your name's sake, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's a prayer that just flowed out of my soul, out of my spirit, without even thinking about it. All centered around these few words, for I am the least of the apostles. And so we have to practice. It takes practice. I have been practicing for a long time. I practice first by praying in the spirit consistently for hours and hours and hours over a long period of time. And God, by his grace, has allowed me to be able to flow from his word and flow by his word in, this, in, in, in prayer. And so we have to practice. We have to practice. Practice. Just pick any word, even one word, even just one word can go, can be. Amen? So one specific word, but a few words put together can always accomplish what God wants to accomplish. Amen? Okay. That's that's that. A little bit on prayer. Hallelujah. We can do some more extensive um, study. What Marlon said, even if you don't remember chapter and verse, do like Jesus, it is written. That's it. That's it. That's it. Sometimes we get um, a little turn off, a little um, put off, a little sheepish or shy because um somebody's asking for prayer who's that monique um i didn't see i didn't see that message sometimes i don't see everything guys um please bring to my attention anything that is serious anything that we need to to um intercede for as a family hallelujah because i don't want persons to think um that i can see the lighting in the background sometimes i have to you will see me do this because i have to make an extra effort to see but so many things are coming and going and so i don't want any of our family members to feel that um you know 
I don't want to highlight or to mention or to even intercede, which is even more important for those who need it. I see Jackie Crawford. Jackie is having issues and need prayer. Father, we just stand in the gap for Jackie. Even now, we speak to those kidney stones and we command them to shrink in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, in this in this hour at this time your presence is rich and powerful in 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 this fourth watch hour and so lord jesus we ask that you will visit jackie even now father cause her to go to the bathroom and pass out these kidney stones no operation in the name of jesus christ of nazareth kidney stones i command you by the authority of the lord jesus christ melt by fire melt by fire melt by fire in the mighty name of jesus christ every kidney stone every Everything that would seek to bring discomfort to Jackie Crawford, I melt you by fire and I command you to run out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Father, let today be the day when Jackie uses the bathroom and kidney stones and its associated pain and discomfort is gone. You foul, unclean spirit of kidney stones. Loose this woman of God now by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we call it done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God most high. Glory to God most high. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the fire of your spirit, the fire of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Okay, so we're in 1 Corinthians, hallelujah, chapter 15. I think we're, we're um, just wrapping up uh, what this is saying about God's grace to us. And so Paul is saying that I am the least of the apostles, but God's grace is what kept me. God's grace is what pulled me. So he was on his way to hell, and that was not well. He didn't even have a shell. So he would have been burnt to, 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 to crisp, and yet still not die. And that's not a lie. But God visited him because he had a plan for him. I'm saying to you this morning, people of God, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth has a plan for all of us. A plan for all of us. And let me just tell you, yesterday I was watching a, 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 a video of a gang member in California that gave his life to the Lord. And one of the things that he was adamant about, that he would not be, because now he has an awesome prison ministry. And one of the things he was adamant about not using as part of his ministry was making f people feel uncomfortable by how we minister the word. Often people reject, often, and I'm not saying it is wrong. It is not wrong to tell people to repent. But if you're telling them to repent from a lifestyle that they have, that's all they have known. If you're telling them that they're sinners and they're going to go to hell, which means that they're going to die, which means that they're going to be consumed by fire and they have no clue how to fix or to deal with that, you're going to get a reaction that you don't want. You do not want to scare people away from God. You want to draw them to God. Now, what draws people to things are things to people. Love. Love. Compassion. Service. And so the best method of evangelism is not just telling people, now hear me, for the purists out there, of course people need to repent. Of course people need to turn from their wicked ways. I am not speaking against that. Please hear my heart. I am not speaking against that methodology. I'm just saying to you that in today's generation, Satan has tuned the frequency in the ears of those that are lost to reject and to be offended by just a simple shouting, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. What does that mean to them? They don't understand it. They can't receive it. Repent or you're going to go to hell. What? What is that? Why are you scaring me? What is that? And so we must seek to, to, yes, repentance is necessary. Repent for you're going to go to hell is necessary. But why does that have to be first when it is scary? Why not show love? Why not say, come to my church, come and, 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 and be served? What do you need? Can I pray for you? Can I, can, I, can I help you with some food? Can I help you with your bus fare? Can I help you in need? Uh, I, can I pray for you, sir, because you're blind? Can I pray for you um, just so that you will have protection through the day? Can I, can, we can cannot influence 
who we have not served. It's difficult to influence people we have not served. And so Paul had to serve the Corinthians before he could get them to stop doing some of the things that they were doing. As you go through the book of Corinth, you will see, or the book of the Corinthians, um, the letters to the Corinthians, you will see that there were many things that they struggled with. But Paul had to, to, to lay himself bare before them. He had to humble himself before them. He had to be broken before them. He had to tell them some things about himself and about them so that he could endear himself to them so that when he started to tell them that listen these things that y'all are doing where, 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 where son is sleeping with his father's wife and all these nastiness things that they're going on with um, that reminded them of Sodom and Gomorrah he had to put himself in a position of authority of trust of servanthood so that they would listen to him and obey he couldn't just walk in because he has an apostolic office and an apostolic gown and a big cross with a, with a chain that says this is an apostle and started telling them what to do. They would reject him. He had to first do like Jesus. Jesus went about doing good, serving the people that at least he might win some. Paul says, I became all things to all men that I may somehow win some. Why are we using a different strategy from what Jesus and the main apostle Paul did? Peter won souls by going and doing things for people. The man at the gate, Temple Beautiful. Come on, Cornelius' house. He was hungry all the way in Jaffa. And he not only forsook what he was there to do, but he walked all the way to where Cornelius' house is. And forgot about all of the things that he knew as culture. Because by culture, he would not be in Cornelius' house. By culture, he would not have prayed for the baptism and, and baptized um, Gentiles. But there was a call of God that says, I have died for all men. And all men need to be served so that they can serve in the kingdom. Amen. And so please, people of God, evangelism is important. Evangelism is necessary. But we must recognize that it is not pomp and pageantry. It's not standing on your soapbox at work or on the street corner or in church and declaring, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Of course, we must repent. Of course, the kingdom of God is at hand. That is true. That is true. But go sit with this sinner, sinner lady. She come to church. This man come to church, go sit with them. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Are you okay? What help do you need? Can I invite you to Bible study? Can I call and pray with you? Can you give me a number so I can call and find out what's going on? And when you call, don't just be church, 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 Bible, 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 Bible. How you doing? How is your family? Is everything okay? Do you have food in your house? I'm not rich yet. But can I help you with a pound of flour, a pound of chicken back? That's what brings men to repentance, people of God. Love. Love. Serve the way you can. You can barely, you can barely provide food for your, your, your family. But I can guarantee you that if each one, each member of your family gives a little bit of what they have as a sacrifice, it will make up a full meal for someone who doesn't have one. We can do it, but how we have learned it has been a turn off to the world. We have to go back to the way Jesus did it and the way the apostles did it. Serving in love, serving in love, serving in love. That's why I keep by the Spirit of God giving each of us a charge each day. It is starting to become, I'm, I feel so good these days because it has started to become, I used to feel tense and and angry when i'm going to the stoplight especially the one at ymca and um and, and and what's that waterloo road when the guys would just converge on you and they would be asking you and big and just lean over your car and one lot of them i used to be just i, I want to drive another way because i don't want to face them i don't want to no i am i i'm 99 better no, I'm driving down to a stoplight and I'm already looking before, even if my glass doesn't need wiping, because I am practicing to let goodness and mercy, to let love become a part of my life. I'm not there yet, I can honestly tell you. 
I'm not going to try to be no superhero and pretend like I'm perfect. I'm not there yet. There's still work to be done. But I'm much better than where I was last year. Much better than where I was six months ago. Because as I am telling and asking of each of you to practice each day to go about doing good, I have to practice it as well. Speak nicely to someone who is not having a good day. Speak nicely to someone who is not speaking nicely to you or to anyone else. It's part of the will. The Bible says, Oh no man, nothing but to love. Am I saying it's easy for some of us who have our own way, who believe that we will only give to those who, 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 who deserve it. We will only be nice to those who are nice to us. That's how we have grown up. That's how we have been, been trained. But that is part of what the Bible says, that we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. To give just to get is against the scripture. To do so that others can do for us is against the scripture. Come on. Amen. And so we must give even in our families. Husbands will give gifts to the wife because he wants a little nookie. He wants a little love. That's not how it's supposed to be. Come on. Wives will say, I go fix up my husband because I want to go shopping tomorrow. The devil is a liar. Stop it. Stop it. Be nice at all times. The benefits of being nice must come as a surprise. We must not be nice for something. That means we're traders, prostitutes. Come on, and I don't mean that negative. Please, nobody, don't get offended. Don't get offended. It's not, that's not how we roll here. I'm just explaining the importance and the value of the kind of heart that we must have. Not to give to get, because if we do it in our family, if we practice to do it in our family, if our children clean up and tidy up their room only when the end of the week when they're looking forward to their allowance or when they want to go to a party or when they want to get something that's born in sin and shaped in iniquity that's an iniquitous behavior we must do right consistently so that the blessings of God doesn't come to us because of what we do but because of our commitment to faithfulness our commitment to obedience to God's word. That's why we must benefit. And so ladies, don't fix up your husband just because. And when you don't want to go shopping or when you come back from shopping, you're saying you're on your own. No, don't cook him a nice meal just because you want to, to go somewhere, you want him to buy you something. Cook him a nice meal all the time and then he, in appreciation for all that you do, and the way you treat him will always be thinking about things that he can do nicely for you. I recognize, can I testify? Hallelujah. I recognize that I, <laughs> oh, Jesus, help me, Lord, to say this the right way. Um, <sighs> Pastor Marsh and I are full-time ministers. And sometimes it's difficult. I'm going to be honest with you. Because we're family sometimes it's difficult sometimes it's really hard but we don't tell people when it's difficult we live by the grace of God each month and so because I am the one that controls the finance I often am very tight and sometimes you know just recently God showed me that Ron sometimes you're so tight that you you, you choke your wife Sometimes you are so tight, you are so conscious of, of trying to save the pennies and hold on for the things that has to happen and the bills that have to pay. And sometimes the giving and the seed is so, is, so, is so small that you begin to panic even before the end of month when the bills are due. And, and that's not me. And God is saying, come on, son, don't deny your wife something that she needs just because you're saying I have to pay the bills and I don't see the thing. Come on, we have to be real. And so I said, Lord, OK, all right, God, I'm going to trust you because you are our provider. I'm going to trust you. And so my wife has a, just as a testimony, guys, this is not to boast or anything. My wife has a computer that she uses to do things for the church, things for women without blemish. But because it is so old now, it was refurbished when we bought it. We've had to take it back to the, 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 the company we purchased it from at least two times already. 
and it is now shutting down in the middle. It is what we do, um, we broadcast on arrows from, and it is shutting down, shutting down, but I don't have enough resources available to buy her a new computer outside of, 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 of sacrificing some things. And the Lord says, by faith, by faith, order the computer and the, and the, and the, um, and the credit card. I, God, will pay it. And may I tell you, it was terrifying to click and order the computer, but the computer is necessary for the ministry. My wife doesn't just surf. She surf on her phone, not the computer. The computer is 100% for ministry, both liberty, for fourth watch, and for, for thing there. And so God has to provide for his ministry. And so I just ordered the computer for her on the, on the internet and send it. And so she's, she went overseas for a conference and she went by my mom's house to visit and the computer showed up and she's like, what is this? What is this? Um, is this for the church? And I said, no, babes, we have the computer for the church already. That's yours. And she was, <laughs> Ron, you're too emotional enough. The love of God is so sweet, it breaks your heart. God had to shake me and to say, stop worrying about how bills are going to pay. I am your God. Your wife needs to see my love through you. Oh God, I'm sorry, guys. And when she saw the computer and realized that it was hers, and she said, you know, I didn't even want this computer. I was willing to struggle with the one that was shutting down. I was willing to struggle. And when it shut down, to start it up again, to do God's work. But we have to demonstrate, even among ourselves, even in our own house, among our own family, faith in God to do good. And so now she has a good computer. And I know God's going to pay that credit card bill. I'm not asking. I'm not questioning. I'm not asking for no special seed. I'm not saying, guys, this is a thing. And they did it. I'm not making no plea. If God speaks to anybody and tell them, listen, contribute to this or contribute to that. And let me tell you, the credit card bill, not normal. Not just for the computer, but we live by that each day and believe God for paying it each month. But what I'm saying is don't, don't worry about, don't get distracted by the credit card or anything. I'm talking about the love. I have to serve. I have to practice to serve my wife so that I can serve from the practice in my house, the others outside. That's the real story. That's the real testimony. And so when Paul is talking to the Corinthians and he says, guys, I am the least because of my story, because of what I used to do, I can say, I can relate to that because I am the least. Because even in my serving people in the ministry side, I was not serving my wife in the same way. I was not cognizant of her needs and, and, and what she needs to, 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 to be served in the same way. Because it didn't cost me as much to serve other people. I was serving them from the anointing. I was serving people from the, the, the ability of God to do deliverance and, and prayer intercession and counseling. All of that was coming from the Spirit of God. But to serve my wife requires my physical as well as spiritual strength. And I didn't feel confident in my physical or, or should I say my financial and other elements. So I serve her in other ways and that's fine. But there are things that she need that I would say, no, babes, we can't do that now because I didn't have the faith to serve her and believe God to provide. No more. The same way I drive up to the stoplight now and I'm looking in my center console for coins or for paper dollar, hundred dollars to give to the guys, even if they don't wipe my glass. Why should I treat others better than my wife? Why should you treat others better than your children, better than your spouse? better than your family members why and i'm not saying it's a comparison i'm just saying practice first to do good to those who are of the household of your family the household of faith and then you'll become excellent at giving and serving and practicing doing good that it will just automatically flow external so i know that when god blessed me by his miraculous grace to have resources the same way i have faith in doing for my wife and believing god it will it will become a part of me so that i'll be able to do it for others easily scholarship funds 
come on blessing people in ways creating opportunities for people to be blessed job housing all these kinds of things but it has to first be perfected on the inside of your close environment if you're not good to your best friend if you're not good to your your, your your aunts your uncles your cousins if you're not good to those in your family that 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 don't like you how are you gonna good to people in church who don't like you because let me tell you people in church don't like you either there are people in church that don't like you can you then turn around and say i'm not talking to her because she doesn't like me that's only because that's what you practice at home when we practice certain things in our space it becomes natural to us externally amen and that's what we must practice guys to go about doing good but we first must perfect it in our personal space and that is what love is so this morning as i was in the bathroom getting ready preparing myself um the lord spoke to me about love he says that you can you can you can give you can serve without love but you cannot love without serving you can serve without love but you cannot love without serving and i said wow so we say we love people but we don't serve them and there are people who are serving people but not not from the place of love god is love and because god loves he serves the bible in john 3 16 said for god so loved the world that he sent his son to serve us come on people of god get the revelation of this for god so loved us that he sent his son to serve us that's what jesus did from the day he was born he served us until the day he was taken back up into heaven so for god so loved that he served jesus so loved us that every single day that's all he did he served us in prayer he served us in in in, in food he served us in healing and deliverance he served us mankind in every way shape and form until and he served us with giving his life the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by the very whips that beat him by the tour tearing of his body he was still serving us with healing who are we not to do and to be as Jesus called us to do and to be and so we have to look in our lives again look in ourselves again are we serving unconditionally are we serving out of fear I can't do this now I can't buy this now no I'm not giving let me just say this publicly I'm not giving my wife license to ask me for a new wig every week honey <laughs> love you baby smokums i am not giving my wife license to ask me for a wig every week or every month <laughs> that's a little joke between me and her she's laughing right now rolling over <laughs> praise god but you understand what i mean <laughs> babes some people rolling on the ground <laughs> yeah uh we have a little fun in in, in serious things but guys <laughs> So we but we still have to be reasonable and we still have to, to to be responsible because i still have the responsibility of things and i can't be just loose and say you know by faith i'm gonna do irresponsible things and god will still deliver no 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 that's not what i'm talking about but we have to still um important things valuable things that needs to be done hallelujah like just for example this computer that was valuable to to my wife's um operations it needed to be sorted out and so whether we had the money or not whether the credit card bill was already big or not it had to be done and so we're believing by faith that this is it so if she asks for a wig and i see the credit card bill still not paid off i'm gonna say babe sorry the wig can't go on it we're the ones that you have now because they're working they're not shutting down <laughs> Praise God. I love you guys. Um, I hope that you, you, you got what this message and all of that comes from recognizing that if we're the least, then we're the priest and we must help. We must serve. Paul says, I am the least of the apostles, but even though he considered himself the least, not um, psychologically, but in terms of strategic placement, 
where he was because of what he used to do, he's still saying, but I will serve so that you can recognize that even the least can become a priest. Even the least can serve. Even the least should, should serve. And so I'm imploring you, my people, sons of God, daughters of God, of God, it doesn't matter what mindset you have. It doesn't matter where you were born. It doesn't matter what financial situation, social situation, academic situation you are in. Set your heart to serve, to be a blessing, firstly to those that are in your space, your family. Sort out those people who in your family that don't like you, that you have not spoken to for a long time and you think it's okay. Call them up and say, listen, I don't know what I did to you. I don't know thing there, but I'm sorry. Whatever it is that caused us to have a rift, I'm sorry. That's serving as well. It's demonstrating that the spirit of God, the love of God is in us. Remember, you can serve and don't love, but you cannot love and don't serve. Amen? Let us have that as a mantra. You can serve and not love, but you cannot love and not serve. Let us prove that we are loved by God and he serves us every day with health and strength, prosperity and good success, even when we don't see it. And if he can serve us because of his love, then we should serve others because of his love in us and through us as well. Amen. Praise God. That's our time for this morning. Hallelujah. 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 I was hoping to, to, to finish um, 1 Corinthians 15 this morning, but God just went in. From yesterday, he's been doing that. Hallelujah. But he's the boss, man, and we submit to him. I hope that you enjoyed this devotion this morning and that you were blessed because that's my only intention, to serve you with the word of God, by the spirit of God, so that you can truly be blessed and be excited about your day and be excited to do things God's way. Amen. Please get your communion. Hallelujah. 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 Father, I thank you for your people this morning. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your healing, your deliverance. I thank you, Lord, for your blessing upon our nation and nations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, that none will leave this devotional time the same way they came. Thank you for blessing businesses, the individuals within this family and their families. Thank you for blessing the work of their hands. Thank you for all that you have done today. Thank you for the testimonies that will come your way in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now. May they be to our bodies health and strength, prosperity and good success according to your will and purpose. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it and took a sup. And he said, drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you so much, family. I really, really appreciate I can't say it enough how much I appreciate your faithfulness to God and to this devotional hour, this devotional time. I appreciate you as my family. I appreciate you as my brothers and sisters in Christ. I appreciate you as people committed to the will and purpose of God. I appreciate you. Raise your hands for the blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord I serve make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way. In Jesus' name, may the Lord go before you by his angels 
and make every crooked path straight and every rough road smooth. May the plans of the enemy fall to the ground and die and never come to pass against you today or any other day in the name of Jesus Christ. May favor of God open doors with favor from man for you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May nothing that you desire to see come to pass on this day fail to come to pass. May the works of the enemy to delay the real or deny your purpose fulfillment fail and be arrested by angels in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be blessed people of God. You are healed, delivered, set free and made whole. Walk in joy and peace and remember to share that joy and peace with others as you go about doing good. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful day. On behalf of Pastor Marsha, I am Rowan Wade saying, mm, be blessed man. Plenty hope, enough love as my brother said, enough of the peace of God. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bye guys. Hallelujah to our King. You are great. Almighty. <laughs>